today I want to talk about cat and cow. So cat, Marajayasana, cow, Vithilasana. Cats were considered sacred and cows considered holy. Okay, so we have the sacred cat who focuses intently on its prey and we have the holy cow. Cows were considered holy because they were absolutely gave, they produced food, trade for money. They worked. So they were, they're still considered holy to this day. So today I want to just show you a little bit about cat and cow and tell you a little bit about why they are done in a warm up at the beginning of a yoga practice. So I'm going to get into cat and cow by coming onto my hands and knees in tabletop position. My wrists are directly underneath my shoulders and my knees and feet are hip width apart. Now, for cow, I'm going to arch my back and lift my head gently. I'm going to look up and on an exhalation through the nose, I'm going to curl chin to the chest and pull the belly button towards the spine. I'm going to inhale it back up. Arching, 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 exhaling, chin to the chest. So we do this yeah, five times or so to warm up the spine and cool down the rajasic, gassy, steamy mind. Now, so what's happening here in Cat and Cow is we're getting into the sacroiliac, the sacral plexus, which is known as Swadhisthana. Swadhisthana is the second chakra. It's orange and it represents uh, creativity, finance, and sexuality. But getting into creativity, so the creative center. So when you're warming up the sacral plexus during cat and cow, maybe that helps us to open up our creative minds, to get further into maybe the intention we set at the beginning of practice. Maybe there's something we want to achieve. And when you get into that sacral plexus during cat and cow, maybe that creativity center opens up and you leave class with a new idea or you have an idea that actually opens up and can expand and you could take it out into the world. So that's Swadhisthana, sacral plexus, the second chakra, which gets activated and um, pretty much opened up during cat and cow. Another thing during cat and cow is you're stimulating the gastrointestinal organs. So they're basically they're getting massaged. So you're warming up the spine, cooling down the mind, getting in a little massage in the intestinal organs, and you're opening up the creative center. So, Vitilasana cow, Marajayasana cat, together they're called Chakra Vakasana. Well, that's it for today. Thank you for joining me at Alice in Yoga Land, and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. See you next time.